need room, but uh, I don't need it taking up more room in my work area than, than I already have. And you can see the coupler just flips on around the horn of the toilet, the back end of the toilet. And we're going to take that hanger right there at the bottom, uh, clamp, I'm sorry, and stainless steel clamp. And we're going to clamp it down onto the, uh, the horn of the toilet. And that will keep it nice and tight in place and sealed. And if you've noticed that uh, I do have cardboard on the uh, floor because I don't want to take any chances while I'm moving this around. I don't want to take any chances and crack, crack any of the uh, ceramic to the bowl itself. Uh, but once I am done, I will remove that uh, the cardboard and uh, just put a little cork around the uh, bottom part of it. Okay, now here, I've taken it back apart because I'm, that's, I'm not putting it in place just yet. But right here, this is the uh, discharge um, elbow that, uh, that, go, that will go to the left side right there, you see. We're going to push that in place, and it's going to slip into a socket and lock in place. And on top of that, we're going to uh, add a stainless steel clamp to hold it down uh, even better. Because there's going to be quite a pressure quite a bit of pressure that does come out of this tank when it uh, grinds and pump the waste up into the system and this particular one here is three quarter inch and if you want to uh, you can run three quarter inch and you can also run one inch pipe up into the drain itself uh, in this particular case I'm just going to use three quarter inch that should be sufficient And again, this is the discharge 90. This is the end that comes out and pushes all the waste out and up into the system. And this will push it up uh, from specs at least 16 to 15 feet um, vertical and over 100 feet or more horizontally. So that gives you some idea that uh, this can really be used almost anywhere because this got quite a bit of force to uh, remove the waste and you don't have to have the uh, drain immediately the main sewer drain immediately right at the uh, at the uh, toilet itself And this is a piece of flexible three-quarter inch uh, pipe that they send with the unit itself. Um, at the other end, I will be adapting to regular, regular pressured PVC piping. And again, we're going to use another uh, stainless steel clamp to clamp this part down. Even though we squeezed it on there and it was tight to get it on there, we still want to take extra precautions and add the hardware that it came with.
Now, this system did come with quite a bit of hardware. Um, you're not necessarily going to use all of it, uh, depending on the application and how you're going to use the uh, pump and where you're going to put it. Uh, all the uh, applications may not apply to you. And this is going to be the vent for the uh, grinder pump. This is a uh, inch and a half uh, 90 that we're going to use. It's very flexible. And I'm sure that they made it so that it would adapt to the top of here and we can install uh, the uh, stainless steel band because other than that, they would have to have it glued and that wouldn't be a good uh, solution to glue that because now if there's any issues in the future, you can just pull these things right off from the uh, stainless steel bands itself. Just in case there's someone out there that has a question, why don't you glue them well that wouldn't be uh, a good idea in this situation you want to make it to, to where you can get access to it now on the other end of this 90 coming out then we will start uh, attaching the PVC inch and a half pipe vent and running it out to the outside and here I'm coming upstairs this is the uh, bathroom that's just above where I'm working and this is where I'm going to uh, tie my water, my hot and cold water lines into, right up here. And that's the P-trap for the tub that was that we just left from upstairs. And we're going to drill two holes here, one for hot, one for cold, going straight up to the back side of that uh, shower valve where we can connect our uh, new water lines and bring them down into the uh, work area and the particular pipe that I'm going to use for this is I've got a lot of pipe laying around of course from previous jobs uh, I'm going to use some PEX pipe Ubernor PEX pipe and I'm going to use shark bite fittings and keep in mind when you do use shark bite fittings you want access uh, some type of access to the uh, fittings itself just in case there's some uh, issues down the road and this is something that they recommend uh, a lot of officials recommend that if you're going to use shark bite that you have some type of access to them all right we uh, drilled both holes you can see as you can see and those are the two holes going up to the back side of the tub and the tub and shower valve. Okay, now I am just about ready to start setting this in place. And right there, that outlet right there, that's the extra outlet. And there's also one on the other side. Uh, that's an inlet for the waste. So on this side here, I'm going to... Uh, tie my utility sink into this so it'll drain into this and be flushed up through the uh, system and this piece here is uh, a cover piece and that piece can be cut so that you can fit the uh, pipe up in there and I'll show you that later and that's the uh, stainless steel band that we're going to use and inch and a half pipe is going to come out the side of this it could be inch and a half inch and a quarter but we're going to use inch and a half and right now I am putting it on here temporarily and these are the valves that I'm going to use up under the sink and the toilet itself of course they're not in the box but this is the box I wanted to show you uh, in case you wanted to pick something up like this and you'll know what to get this is a half inch by 3 8 compression 